I think it's uh, you know management's belief in me that that I can be a part of the future, uh, part of what's you know the direction we're going. Uh, that talk of going north and brick by brick. I guess I'm one of those bricks. So uh, for them to 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 come to me and and then work something out, I think it's uh, it speaks a lot to their their confidence in me and uh, you know my desire to stay here. Does it take some of the Well, uh, yes and no. I mean, you know, they want me here for the for the future, but there, there's a. It's not like there's a no movement clause in there either. You know, I, I'm sure if, if there's if there's an opportunity for for them to get better, uh, you know, I'm sure they'll do it, uh, and and I would hope so. That that's why I wanted to stay here. I, they want to get better. They want to be a playoff contender. They want to be a championship team. So I think they'll they'll leave no stone unturned to to be a winner. Not just uh, having this contract extension, uh, giving you stability for you and your family. Just not. Now for a little while, at least, you don't have to worry about looking over your shoulder and wondering what's next. Well, you know, and, and it's in my nature to always be looking over my shoulder, uh, just from where I came from, and you know, going undrafted and, and kind of working to where I get. Uh, you know, this certainly doesn't mean that I can rest now. Uh, this just means it's it's another dollar figure that I have to live up to and work to. And uh, there's there's another contract after this that I'm playing for, so it's it's just uh, it's just another step. It's another progression for me, and I'm hoping there, there's another one at the end of this one. Can you talk about maybe just taking a breath now these last couple of days and the last 12 games and how intense that's going to be? I think we've we've started to see it already uh, with some of the games we played recently. Uh, the, the, it's a playoff atmosphere in most buildings now. Uh, you know, the, it's nice to get a couple of days here to, to recharge before we go on a, a pretty important road swing uh, with, with Nashville and St. Louis teams we're, we're competing with. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure these these last 12 games are going to be as exciting as, as any we've played this year. When you when you came here, Mark, after the trade, I mean, I know you, you said, "Hey, this is this is great for me." And you kind of cock your head and say, "Well, you just came from Pittsburgh." But but you know your situation there, you certainly weren't going to get the ice time, get the opportunity that you've had here. I mean, do you feel like this has been uh, exactly what you would hope for since you came? Here? I, I think more. You know, I, I think you know, for me to pull in. On some nights, 20 minutes. I think, you know, that's that's more than any forward in this league could expect. So, uh, to to have earned that role, uh, you know, on some nights, I think is again more than I could have expected. And it's always been positive for me here since I've been here. Uh, you know, anytime somebody trades for you, you know, I take that as that they want you here. They want you a part of something. So, uh, it, it's been positive. Uh, I've seen the direction that we're going, and we've seen some of the the rewards of it so far. As far as you as a player, I mean, are you are you hitting your stride? Are we seeing what you can do on the ice? I, I certainly hope so. Uh, you know, things have been been going in the right direction. Uh, there's always going to be ups and downs. Uh, right now, I'm on and up. You know, the team's on and up, and I think hopefully those are correlating. You know, hopefully that's that's not a coincidence. But uh, yeah, I, th I think you're always trying to get better. You know, I'm still pretty new to the league. You know, I'm I haven't even hit 200 games yet, so. Uh, there's still a lot for me to learn, and there's still some growth there. Mark, with uh, 8 of the 12 on the road, how brutal is that, knowing you're going to have to finish? What is that? What's, what's the number? Uh, you know, I, I, don't know. I don't know if you could put a magic number on it. Uh, you know, we're probably going to need some help. Uh, but, you know, 8, eight of 12, I think our style speaks to that not being quite so bad. Uh, we play a grinded kind of defensive game, and, and that's – you know what you ask for on the road is to play simple and score some dirty goals and I think our, our style plays into that and hopefully gives us an advantage uh, down the stretch. Are there people out there that you think you proved wrong? I mean given how you're wow. kind of the trajectory of your career kind of how Yeah, I mean I didn't get drafted and here I am in my 4th year so I proved a lot of people wrong, you know, but that's that's kind of that's beyond what motivates me now. You know, I, I got I got a family, I got uh, you know that's what motivates me now is to to play for them and to play for the team that, that's got me here. And that's uh, I hope I keep proving people wrong, and I hope I, I prove detractors on this contract too. That's kind of what the Blue Jackets have been doing as well. What what has it been taking the mentality in the room just overall to battle through and grind the way you guys have been doing? I think that's it's a mentality we've kind of adopted as our identity. Uh, you know, it's something we look at as uh, early on we weren't getting wins, but our, our work ethic, our, our mm -hmm compete, uh, our structure was there. We just weren't getting bounces or weren't getting as many plays as we needed. Uh, and now we're starting to, to reap the benefits of sticking with the plan, uh, sticking with what uh, we believe in. And we, we're starting to see some results and we're starting to climb the standings. Does that push come from leaders in the room individually or, or is that also coming from the coaches? Sort of where did that come from? Uh, 
You know, I think it's everybody buying in. I think, uh, you know, at the start of the year, uh, Mr. Davidson comes down and, you know, talks about the direction we want to go north and, and brick by brick. And then, you know, the coaches adopt the same kind of passion and, and structure to the way we want to go. And then the players buy in and you see results and it just breeds itself. You know, that, that's what you talk about. We talk about culture change, uh, winning and positive vibes and that kind of stuff. It all breeds on each other. And we're starting to see it now as, as an organization that we're, we're climbing the standings and we're making steps. And Sunday, you guys, I mean, you guys are exhausted. You pushed through that game, you came out with the win. What's it going to take to keep that kind of mentality and that kind of physical push through this basketball game? Well, I think we're going to have to lean on the whole lineup. You know, I think uh, that's probably one of our strengths is we're not, we're not reliant on on one line or, or one guy. Uh, we're, we're, we don't score a lot, but when we do, it seems to be spread out throughout the lineup. So uh, if we're relying on different guys, different nights, it's tough for teams to have matchups. And you just go out and play hard, and then hopefully, uh, you know, you leave it out there and you get the positive results you need.